<laughs> What's good with it, YouTube? Fight fans all over the world. It's your boy, the realest of the real. Yes, sir. I said it. Real talk. Boxing. It is a privilege and honor and a major blessing to be back with you beautiful people yet again. November 13th, my boy David Benavidez steps back in the ring against Kyron Davis. Listen, I think this is going to be a competitive fight to a certain extent. Now, as we all know, David Benavidez is the former two-time WBC super middleweight champion of the world. And I love the kid. I love what he brings to the table. He throws punches and bunches, blood and guts, balls to the wall, no quit. You got to kill me to get me out of there type dude. And I like that in David Benavidez. It's been really, really jonesing to see him back in the ring. And we're finally going to get that. Now, Kyron Davis, some of you may not even know, um, he has a record of 16, 2, and 1. Split decision draw against Anthony the Dog Durrell, who is a former opponent of David Benavidez. David Benavidez actually took his WBC Super Middleweight title from him. Um, Kyron is a, a, a really, really schooled boxer. Movement, jabs, throws punches and bunches, very durable. He took some clean shots from Anthony Durrell and ate him. I didn't really even see him rocked or buzzed in the fight. Uh, go check out that fight if you want to. The whole fight is pretty much entertaining, but check out the highlights. It's about six, seven minutes worth of highlights. And you will thoroughly enjoy what you see from Kyron Davis. Now, he is a extraordinary type counterpuncher. Now, when you think counterpuncher, you think about a fighter making another fighter miss and then countering with one shot. Well, Davis does that, but he counters in combinations. Three, four, five shots at a time. He'll catch a punch and run three or four combinations. And pretty much connects with all of them. Very accurate. He'll weave under a hook and make you miss. And then counter with three, four high punch combinations and he does not neglect the body as well durable in shape counter puncher fast hands but he doesn't have one punch knockout ability so i don't think Benavidez has anything to worry about being knocked out but it's boxing anything can happen i do see david Benavidez catching up with him i think it will be a competitive fight up until around five or six and then i think david Benavidez will start to take over but until that point, I feel like it's going to be very, very competitive. I'm anxious to see David Benavidez back in the ring. I didn't care who it was against, but it suits me even better that he's not in there with the tomato can because Kyron Davis can actually box and he's durable. So we will get an exciting matchup, competitive to a certain extent. You understand what I'm saying? If you don't, I don't care. I want to know what you're talking about. I want to understand what you're saying. So comment down below. Let your boy Real Talk know. As always, respect all. Fear none. God bless. Until next time, Real Talk Boxing. I'm up and I'm out of here, baby. Click, click. Boom.